He's been through this all before, but there's no doubt he's as excited as anyone today. Yeah, you really got the sense of that, uh, talking to him today before the first exhibition game, and there's just been a lot of excitement, and tempo is what comes to mind through training camp. It certainly has been high-paced action with a lot to learn early in camp for the Jets. It's time for him to step up so he can be the Pugliarvi, the fourth overall pick in 2016. Stanley's pass, gets the stick, Pugliarvi! Jets with some new systems and early pass that leads into a turnover and Pugliarvi on cue as you're talking about him. Dan gets to the puck first and wins a little 50-50. A lot of attention down low. Uh-oh. A nice little chip pass by Menelina and here they come Harkins. against Jason Demers on a PTO for the others. A wrist shot snagged and held by Skinner a minute 10 into this one. Rebirth's 45. The pass was headed for Gavankev but it didn't get through and the are on the move, driving and the shot there. Oh, yeah. And hell, that was James Hamblin, former Medicine Hat Tiger, with the chance. Finishing out the uh, drill, nice thing, right through to the very end. So, detail oriented so far early in camp. The Jets on the attack. She's a delay, shoots him, running that one off the outside of the net. Possibly Skinner got a piece of it. From your defense, last regular season isn't anywhere near enough. The D are going to get a green light to jump, and the forwards have to know when to come. The one is a good early example for Jim. Number 10 and centering pass. That'll work its way all the way back to Bouchard. Slips it over the far boards. Stenlin, though, back to the line. DeMello. Kevin Stenlin. A nifty pass there. Harkins. DeMello shoots with a crowd in front. And the glove saved by Skinner. Both teams changing. Take a look. Grabbing it is Gustafson. And good pass ahead. There's a sharp angle shot by Asimov. Stop by Skinner. Turnover Edmonton. Stanley takes a look. Fires it. Blockered away by Skinner. Jets grab the puck now looking to get set up. Play to the side of the net. Again, a lot of bouncing pucks here so far tonight. Gavanka creeps down. Sets it up. Good pass. A shot knocked away. Asimov had a lot on that. And we get a whistle on the play. Riddick slapped the stick. The penalty is over. Jets are 0 for 1. Just the one shot by Asimov. But Winnipeg on the attack now. There's a shot. Off the outside of the twine. Understands to keep things simple enough to give himself another chance to play another day. They shot off the face off Mark away by Hill. Always wonder how tough it is for by Benson. He'll grab it again. Benson shoots it off the backboard. Riddick looking for it. Just one thing the way. There's a chance for the Bears and a good save by David Riddick. Chip the head and out by Jansen Harkins. And the key to that deal, Dan, was that he took under his qualifying offer. Here's a scoring chance coming perhaps. And a good stop by Riddick. Penalty coming up as Holloway continues to make his mark, showing some explosive speed. And the Oilers will have their first power play of the night. A drive to the net from Dylan Holloway as he turns the corner. Give me a minor penalty for hooking. Bleeding Army lets that go around. McLeod now sets it up for Fogel. Bouchard for Bertan and has a little bit of space. Snapshot, chest save and a hold by Riddick. Who's catching on and who isn't? He's an up shot by Bouchard. He's got a heavy one, and that is an easy save by Riddick. He's uh, showing a lot of really good signs of being a good teammate, and he is excited to be here. The runner's on the move. Oh, 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 oh. Shoulder save there by Riddick. And when you get your chance to play, you Fogel will come back. The pass. Got a lot of good room. Now, throw off the stick. The center of the shot. Stopped by Skinner. The Jets with perhaps their best chance of the evening right there. Holloway again shoots it. He got a lot on that. It might have gone off the stick of Capo Bianco and then eventually up and out of play. Fighting it a little bit right there. Dubois looking for Tristan. And he does a good job to keep it in against Pugging Arby. Perfetti, nice maneuver. Cole Perfetti with a shot. He went short side. That's stopped by Skinner.
you're not stopping and reading. You are just knowing and going in the defensive zone. Everybody understands their tasks and try to get to those spots quickly and, and plays right away. Gets it deep to start period number two. Pavel Bianco it through. Had a lot of behind the wraparound attempt. Solve that equation and the score. Pickard knocks it down and hangs on, and we get a whistle. Receives the pass and gives it right back, and then later to follow it up. And that alignment, he was first to the puck in the floor check. He jarred it free, and then. So the penalty served by Borgo is over. One shot for Winnipeg on that man advantage. And the order is to the on the ice and he's gassed as he loses an edge, loses a battle and right there, there's the turnover. Now the Jets are caught out of position and a good job just finding that second layer. As Demers with the shot, the rebound spits right out down Main Street and it's James Hamlin capitalizes and no chance for Riddick as he made the first two. Hurry, flips it on the backhand. Up on the play. Grab that along the boards and move it ahead. He goes to the next level. Return to the pass. <laughs> Ryan McLeod turned on the Jets. Beat Riddick to the puck, and it's 3 0 Edmonton. Chaz Lucius, the forward, the high forward back, and kind of loses an assignment for Ryan McLeod. It's a floater, and now does Riddick come out and play it, or is he going to get there in time? And you can see him there play it. Nope. Save it. Nope. Third goal of the night for the Oilers off of the stick of Ryan McLeod. It's just over. Rick going the distance here tonight. Back to the goaltender from Winnipeg. Bouchard grabs a loose puck. Fires, scores! It's kept in the slot. It might be Holloway's goal. Either way, it's 4 0 at the tip. He can shoot it. He can let it go and right here and watch the way he just. Keeps it low, looks for some tips in front. There's no shortage of traffic as their tannins off the far post, and it's Dylan Holloway. Or does that maybe go off of Tony Nato's stick? Jets are able to clear it, but it was all winners today. They had an early goal and held for the longest time, and then 